Hey everyone! What is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena recording at about 5 in the morning on an exceptionally windy, well I guess, I, I want to call it night, but I guess you'd call it morning. I just called it morning. So I guess it's morning. Um, anyways, uh, it is very windy out there. You'll probably hear it. I'm kind of nervous because there's a tree very, very close to my window, so I'm kind of like, please don't fall through my window. Please don't fall through my window. Um, anyways, yes, um, what I have here are the, uh, uh, Stadler? I hope I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, I do apologize. Anyways, um, it's that brand of pen that has that, what looks like a Roman Centurion or a Spartan or something like that on it. And what these are, these are magic color pens. They're color changing. However, since I had used the, um, the erasable ones and they were actually erasable, I, I am very hopeful for these. I hope that these work out. Um, I've got my swatch sheet already, even though I originally planned on having things this way, which is why I've got the writing up here, but then I'm like, you know what? Wait a minute. It fits on the camera better like this, so that's what I'm doing anyways. Um, let's unbox these puppies and get to it. So satisfying. Alrighty, to start things off, we've got a broad tip and we've got a bullet nib or a very fine nib. Um, so it's like on, on the surface, it looks like just a plain old ordinary marker essentially. So here, let's begin the first swatch. Oh, okay, this one doesn't quite match the color. We got this navy here. Okay, seems seems nice enough. Okay, so let's just do some of the fine lines and oh boy, are they fine? Okay, this this is the important one. This is the money shot here. Whew. Let's see if this works. Did I waste five dollars on nothing? Uh, let's see. Uh, wait for it. Okay, okay. I'm through playing games. I'm through playing games. Let's just try this out and focus camera. Let's see. Oh, it's starting to change. It is. Oh my gosh. It is actually changing. Okay, that is so freaking cool. And oh, oh definitely looks like you got to clean it off in between. But look at that. The results speak for themselves. That is awesome. So I'm going to carry on with the rest of these swatches. And then time to do an illustration. Okay, so these things definitely perform as advertised. They are color changing. Um, you've got a list of the colors right here and also like the barrels correspond like this purple, this purple, purple barrel, yellow cap. And let's see, where's another example? Oh yeah, this one, brown barrel, green cap. So, that's kind of how that system works, but 
like without this little baby um you ain't getting the magic so this is essentially your magic wand let's take a look here okay like there's no bleed through even though on a couple of these i did go a little bit far like i really scribbled it in there so no bleed through so far however i am curious like like i am wondering if these are more of a uh, fun novelty than anything else However, I think it is time to put them to the real test and uh, see about an illustration. So that's always the fun part. That's the part I love the most. So yeah, I'm gonna get to that. Since I wasn't super sure what exactly I should do with these, I went to my favorite standby, the trusty old dragon. Those of you that have been watching me for a while know how much I just adore dragons. Not to mention with the strong novelty gimmick of these pens, I figured that a dragon was just a safe play. Now don't expect to be building up complex layers and depth with these things. What you can expect, however, is to have a lot of fun. These pens are a unique experience to say the least, at least for me they were. I do remember a long time ago seeing ads for these magic pens. Like I'm talking back in the 90s and early 2000s. I just dated myself, but then again, what else is new? I just remember those vaguely, and since they were only available through the TV commercials, I never had a chance to try them out. Then of course I just forgot about the whole thing until recently when I found these on the TJ Maxx shelves, and here we are today. While an enjoyable novelty for doodling and possibly even bullet journaling and planners, I did find the ink to be a bit scratchy at times. Not to the point of being unusable of course, but enough to pill the paper. Just a tad. Although that could just be because these are water-based, and water-based markers just have a habit of doing that. All I have to say is, where were these when I was a kid? Oh uh, yeah, I answered that earlier. Right. I was trying to utilize the color change thing for shading, but once you put the clear color changing ink down on the paper, it just kind of lingers and chills for a while and you can't see it, so that helps to keep things fresh and interesting. Kinda. While hardly the best pens in the world, I'd recommend trying these at least once. For novelty's sake. Alrighty. So, overall conclusion with these markers. Do I think they were worth the five bucks that I spent on them? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I think I got my money's worth. They performed as advertised. They change colors. However, the thing that kind of... Uh, this is just one... Like, when this thing runs out, then they're just mediocre markers because it's like you only get the one magic pen so once this runs out that's it other than that I think that this would be a fun sketching doodling marker set I mean as you can see what I did here this was not my most serious work but then again doodling is serious business so I might have just contradicted what I just said anyways I think that probably the best thing to do, if you find this set of markers, pick it up for yourself and try it. Because well, this isn't my masterpiece, this is hardly my Mona Lisa, I was just having fun with it. It was, it, it was just enjoyable, it was low pressure, I wasn't trying to get every teeny tiny little detail right, I was just... Like, you know, kind of let the colors fall where they may. And I I had fun. And sometimes, just 
having fun is the most important thing of all. So, with all that being said, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, while we're at it, why not visit my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art. And have you considered checking out my second channel, Silver Hyena Plays? If you're curious about what I do outside of artwork, well, that channel has a few answers. I mean, I'm not going to share everything with you, obviously. Um, oh, wait. What was I saying again? Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, anyways, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and as usual, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!